Welcome. Today we're going to look at automating uh, some stuff in Obsidian with iOS shortcuts. Um, not so much macOS because honestly macOS shortcuts are kind of lame right now. They're just broken. Things aren't working. I don't even know what to say about it. So we're going to stick with the iPad, the iPhone stuff, and macOS is getting better in the betas. So it, this should work in the future. Maybe. Before we get in, if you like these videos, you want to support the channel, become a member at curtismichael.ca slash membership or take one of my courses at curtismichael.ca slash education and members get my courses for free or included in their fee. Buckle up, let's look at some of the shortcuts I use regularly to make my Obsidian workflow excellent. So there's really three main ones I use right now. Um, I think the first one I'll go into is the idea capture. So this is a fairly easy one. It's gonna ask for a text for your title of your note. It's gonna ask for text for the content of your note. It's going to build the file title because that's what you have to do. Uh, we rename it and then we add renamed item to inbox. So let's run this one. Run, this is my title. This is my note content. And we have now added this to Obsidian. So let's go into Obsidian and we will open up our inbox. It says, this is my title, this is my note content. So one of the things that makes a shortcut like this really excellent is if we go to our settings in our iPhone, and if we go to uh, back tap, which is under touch in accessibility, scroll down to the bottom, back tap on, and I can come in here and I can choose to make this a shortcut if I want. So I can come in here and look at any of my shortcuts here and I can take the one that I just built, the one I just used, idea capture and add it to double tap. So now it's set to double tap on the back and if I go one, two, new title, back tap, I'm going to access my inbox it's the first time I've allowed that on this phone. And then by using that with back tap, I can actually just save something quick to my vault and not have to worry about it. I don't have to like, it's just quick, right? I don't have to dig in and do a whole bunch of other stuff and find Obsidian and do all the files. I can just double tap, capture the note I had and just keep moving on because it's in my inbox and I can process it later. So the next one we're going to look at is appending to our daily note. It's a little more complex because we have to work out dates a few times and then format our note properly. First thing we're gonna do is get our current date. We're gonna format it with this string here, uh, year, month, day. Then we're going to get from my daily notes folder um, at the path, which is the file name, plus you have to add .md for the markdown file. So we're looking basically to see, is this file created already? We're gonna ask for text right now because I'm just gonna ask before I check because I don't wanna ask twice, I don't have to do this twice. So if this file, has any value, we're going to put the file in and then add any of our new content, which is this one right here. And then we're going to set name of the updated note to file name and save my file into the daily. So we're basically just overwriting it if it exists. So we're gonna overwrite our file right away because there's not a really good way to append it inside shortcuts, we'll just overwrite it. Now, otherwise, the first thing I'm going to do is I gotta set up a bunch of date formatting stuff. So I don't actually use modification date, so I can totally delete that. But what I'm gonna come in here and do is say, get my daily note, I'm gonna format the day, add one day to it, and then format it, subtract one day from the date I just got. And then uh, the day behind, this is gonna give me links in my daily notes like this, right? So the day behind, day ahead. Uh, and then I'm going to, again, take this input up here that I asked for, ask text with daily note and add it to the bottom. I'm gonna set the name and then save the file out again. So the way this works is, this is new content, we'll save. If we go back to Obsidian, this is new content showed up. Otherwise it will just create it and add the content in the exact same spot. So you can add this kind of wherever you want into whatever type of note you want. If you have one main idea note, you could use the same idea, same um, setup basically to append items to any note you want. Now my final one is actually a Devon Think one. So I use this one all the time. Uh, let's look at crime prediction software. So this one here, I'm gonna grab my uh, item link 
Yeah, this is a, kind of a two-stepper now, unfortunately. I'm going to do Obsidian Zettelcast, and I'm going to paste that item link in there. There you go. Ran our scripts. If I go back to my inbox now, I can see Crime Prediction Software promised to be free. So what this did was parse through a whole bunch of dev and think items that are available in shortcuts and create my note for me in my uh, inbox. And I can show you that shortcut. So I've shared this one before, but it needs to be updated a while ago. So this is the latest working one. It's very similar to the one I've shared in previous videos. So it's gonna ask for text with my link, which is the item link. Um, get the item and then DevonThink has a bunch of different properties available uh, when you get the item from DevonThink. So I can do the title, the URL, the item link. And I do it in the square brackets followed by round brackets because it does a markdown link then. And it gets the current date and then again I create the title, format a date and save it out to my inbox so that I can read it. That automates a lot of um, just the file creation process stuff I don't need to do. I shouldn't really have to spend a bunch of time on in Obsidian to get a note taken. That's actually one, this one totally does not work at all in um, Mac OS because, uh, because DevonThink doesn't provide the shortcuts integration. So I can't get any of the data out of it. I have to do it all manually instead, unfortunately. And those are three ways that I automate my Obsidian workflows with shortcuts. It makes a lot of my stuff way easier it's just easy to do that way. So there's lots more you can do with this as well. I'm sure there's other ideas. If you have other questions you want to know about shortcuts and automating Obsidian and other ways to do it, by all means, ask them below. I will do my best to have some answers for you or point you in the right direction. That's it. If you like the video, thumbs up. If you loved it, subscribe, hit the bell. YouTube will let you know something happened. If you want to support the channel, go to curtismichael.ca slash membership, become a member, get all my courses included, or go to curtismichael.ca slash education and pick a course to take. Have a good one.